So what do you do when someone's choking? Say you and a friend are out um, in a restaurant and all of a sudden they start choking. So I'm gonna have my friend Hannah come over here. And we're out, we're having a good time, we're eating, and all of a sudden she seems like she's choking. First you ask, are you okay? And oftentimes the international sign for choking is this, okay? They're like, I can't breathe, something's going on. If you're around other people, you wanna get them to help you. You wanna, if you're in a restaurant or a place of business, have someone, uh, you know, call out for help and have the people help you out. Tell them what you're doing. Don't just attack them because that will just heighten their anxiety and their panic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand behind them and you're gonna wrap your arms all the way around, okay? And you wanna try, you find their belly button with your pinky, make a fist, put the pinky on the belly button, then roll it up so your thumb is, your, the knuckle of your thumb is right there, and then you thrust, you pull it in and up, and I'm not gonna do it as hard. You in and up, in and up until they, uh, until they can dislodge what is in there and they can breathe again. Um, don't go crazy like in the movies and start slapping <laughs> their back and like rustling. Sometimes, you know, people get carried away and they want to slap your back and they just end up hurting you. If the person is pregnant or a larger person um, and you can't get your arms all the way around to where their belly button is, you're going to want to go higher up to where their breastbone is. So say Hannah is pregnant, congratulations. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> you wrap around, you find their breastbone and um, then you just do the same thing, in and up in and up until they dislodge whatever is in their uh, throat and they can breathe again. Um, if the person is so big, if you're a small person and you have a big strapping person with you who's choking and you just can't even do that, you can assist them into doing a self Heimlich maneuver on a chair or a service that will get to their diaphragm. You just lean them over and kind of talk them through it. Stay calm. The more panicky you get, the more panicky they're, they're going to get. They're already in a state of anxiety because they can't breathe, which is normal. So if they lose consciousness and they fall to the floor, they're going to lay them down, you're going to roll them over, and then you're the same thing. You're going to find the belly button, roll up, and you're going to thrust while they're on the floor until that comes out or until help arrives. Continue trying to do the thrusts and trying to get them to get that out of their, uh, their throat so they can breathe again and just stay with them until help arrives. Mm -hmm.